Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to declare methods in Objective-C and how to call the methods that you declare. So you guys might notice that the font size is huge now. I hope you guys have no trouble seeing this and I'll make sure that I upload my video in 1080p. Okay, on to method declaration. So again, I created a brand new project. If you want to download this exact one, uh, the link is in the description. But it's just your basic single view application. So you know, you've got your view controller, um, app delegate, and stuff like that. But what I want to call to attention is uh, the view controller class. So I might not have mentioned it yet, but in Objective C, classes are defined by two different files. Uh, when you create a new class, you'll get a .h file and a .m file. And the .h file is the interface for your class. And this basically, you list out methods, properties, variables, things that you want other classes to be able to uh, use and interact with in your M file that is the implementation file and that's the place where you actually write the code for the methods that you've declared in your interface. Now you can declare a private interface uh, and we'll get to that in the next video about scoping but for this video just know that in the H file that's where you declare all your properties and methods and you're in your M file you you implement them. So that's important to note because we're going to be talking about method declaration here. Now let me type out a sample declaration for you guys. Now let's take a look at the different parts of this declaration. This minus sign denotes that this is an instance method. So this is a method that you can call on an instance of this class. Alternatively, Alternatively, you can declare it with a plus sign, and that means that it's a class method. So you don't necessarily need an instance to call this method. Now, the thing in the bracket is the return type of the method. So in this case, we're returning nothing. But you could very well you know, return an integer or some other class, anything you'd want. Uh, and the next part we have is the method name. Now what would it look like if we wanted to add some parameters to the method? Alright, so that is a method signature with one integer parameter being passed in. So the format is colon and then the type of the parameter followed by the name of the parameter. Now what would it look like if we had two parameters? Let me show you that. Now this syntax is a little bit tricky because this, you know, it follows the same format as this first part. So this, with the second parameter, this is the label, and this is the uh, the type of the second parameter, and this is the name of the second parameter, and then so on and so forth. If you wanted to declare a third parameter, you would have label, colon, return type, parameter name. Okay, so let's talk about calling methods now. So let's jump into our implementation file. I'll just copy that. Okay, so I'm going to implement our sample method with parameter, but I'm going to use this opportunity to show you guys how you would call um, another method. In the last video, we created a class named my class. So I'm going to do the same thing here, just so I can declare it and show you guys how to call a method of it. So I'm going to go new class, I'm going to call it my class, and it's a subclass of NS object. I'm going to put it in the uh, root. And then in my class, I am going to add a method called do something. So you notice that standard convention in um, Objective C method names start with uh, lowercase. And then in my 
uh, view controller class if I wanted to use it I'd again have to import that so all, this is all stuff we've learned before now let me declare a new instance of my class so remember in the last video we saw you know this allocation and initialization in this sort of syntax now this is calling methods of my class so alloc is a class method of my class well of ns object and same thing with init so if I wanted to call our instance method I'd have to do it on an instance of my class what well, we don't want class we want the instance and uh, I call that method but there's something wrong here let me see oh I see so I wrote the method in the implementation file instead of the header file so let me copy and paste that and let me put it into the header file so there you go and now if we go back to the view controller um, that's gonna go away what's it saying here uh, right so our method that we declared sample method with parameter is supposed to return an integer in this case it's telling me that I'm not returning it so let's go into my class and let's make do something return an integer and then let's implement it in the dot m file of my class and let's just make it return a number like a hundred and if we go back here we can just return the result of the do something method which will be a hundred hey guys so that was episode three of learn objective C that rhymes <laughs> uh, so anyways next episode we're gonna be talking about variable and method scoping and now for your fun fact of the day did you know that it took over 200 patents and 156 suppliers across three different continents to make the iPhone? Wow, that blows my mind. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned for the next video. See you guys later.